Hi, this is Josh Matthews with your Village News Sports Post Game Report. Heartbreak tonight in the West End for Meadowbrook as they fell to the Hermitage Panthers in the final seconds, 25-21. Hermitage quarterback Rashad Robinson was able to run for a 20-yard touchdown with just four seconds on the clock to defeat the Monarchs. Early on, it looked like in the West End it was going to be Miller time as Meadowbrook running back Justin Miller rushed for 266 yards and two touchdowns on 39 carries. However, the heartbreak did happen tonight for Meadowbrook at the hands of Robinson. In the third quarter, it was mostly quiet until Hermitage quarterback Jaden Miller picked off D'Angelo Amos, the third Hermitage interception of the evening. That set up a methodical touchdown drive and Hermitage took the lead in a five-yard run by Jonte Wilson. To start the fourth quarter, it was Jaden Miller again with another interception, but Hermitage was unable to capitalize on that drive. In the fourth quarter, the teams traded several unsuccessful drives, but Meadowbrook was able to move into Hermitage territory at the 40-yard line. After a successful running attack on the drive, Troy Taylor called play action, but the bootleg run by D'Angelo Amos came up just a yard short on fourth down. However, Meadowbrook would get another opportunity and they would capitalize. D'Angelo Amos led the Monarchs down the field with a nice completion to Keontae Smith that set up a 25-yard touchdown run by Justin Miller. Meadowbrook had the lead 21-28 with 1.29 to go. From there, things fell apart and the, hand and the Panthers emerged victorious. Meadowbrook defense played well. Turnovers did make it difficult for Meadowbrook to keep gaining momentum against the Hermitage tonight. And Justin Miller had a great game. He's going to be our Village News Sports Player of the Week for his 266 yard and two touchdown performance. Meadowbrook must recover quickly from this loss as next week they travel to face Manchester who took care of Matoka 43-7 this week. This is Josh Matthews with Village News Sports. Thanks for watching the post game report and we hope you tune in next week.